Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another NECA Toys cartoon at TMNT video. And it's a particular set, at least half of it, which is based off a very particular bat poop crazy episode. And my oh my, NECA has totally realized that in plastic form. So we have the corporate business suit, Casey Jones, and the totally split in half foot soldier on the back side of the box it'll be the usual you get some nice photos of the figures that you are about to enjoy you get the same write-up talking about the cartoon tmnt and then you get a little smattering of some upcoming tmnt figures which have also started hitting store shelves now on the bottom of the box here's everyone involved with the creation of these figures so thank you very much for that and here is the barcode this is hitting target store shelves now as a Holothon exclusive, you know, that whole dealio. Hopefully it shows up online so you can buy it in that way. But if you are looking at Target store shelves is, of course, the exclusive way to grab it. And like I said, this particular box set is based off the episode Corporate Raiders from Dimension X, in which the Ninja Turtles team up with Casey Jones and utilize said Casey Jones to infiltrate a company to figure out all the nefariousness happening. He shows up looking like this, which is just the the most ludicrous but amazing thing for a children's 80s cartoon show. And I'm not even joking. Yes, he gets the job wearing this to work. Bebop and Rocksteady wear suits. It's a whole shredder plan to raise a tectodrome. Casey Jones gets brainwashed kind of you just please watch this this is why these action figures are so much fun because of just the insanity that these are all based off of so this is gonna be an absolute blast sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new straight from NECA toys the target store exclusive the corporate business suit casey jones and the totally split in half foot soldier so now here's everything taken out of the packaging you do get quite a few accessories a lot more let's say for casey jones as it should be, but in terms of the foot soldier, you're gonna say the same usual hands that we have gotten with most foot soldier releases. That includes the blaster weapon as well, but in terms of army building, this will definitely add it to your foot soldier collection because this particular foot soldier is just very special. It is painted to the nines, all the wires, everything that has just been chopped down the middle. I especially love the back. It looks extra tattered on the material that makes up the foot soldier's hood. Everything is amazing. I love this, including the articulation, which is going to be the basic foot soldier articulation. So there's nothing crazy, nothing new there. But the fact that the upper body is brand new, you can see all the wires, the doodads, the gizmos. I love that. It's as if Leonardo took his katana and just swing right down the middle. And that just makes for a very exciting scene if you're going to display your TMNT. Now, to show you the difference, I have quite a few foot soldiers, but the very first foot soldiers released were more of a darker purple as opposed to a more lighter purple, which is what this split soldier now has. So you kind of see the difference, but again, it aids in really building upon your TMNT cartoon collection, because like I said, you have any Leonardo figure with some katanas, it'll definitely make for a cool display. So through and through, this is a great new foot soldier to have in terms of army building your foot soldiers. Now, with Casey Jones, you get a couple extra hands. At first, I thought you could interswap the hands, but they're not gonna really fit. You do get the water spray bottle, which brings Casey Jones out of the trance in the episode. Donatello figures that out, it's the whole water thing. If you spray the people that are hypnotized, the water takes care of it. <laughs> You do get a basket that is full of envelopes, which again, that comes straight from the episode. There's really no detail on anything inside the basket. It's just kind of blank documents. Would have liked to have seen just maybe the top few have a stamp or something on it just to kind of give it a little bit more oomph. But you do get extra arms for Casey Jones. Now these are unjacketed arms. So you get his white shirt, has the cartoon details on it, and then you have his flesh 
open hands, which that totally looks cool. A new aspect, building upon the lore of the cartoon TMNT show, as we've never actually seen this version of Casey Jones unmasked. It's a really well done head portrait, beautifully sculpted, beautifully painted. Although, in my old man yelling at clouds side of deal, in my head, I never really wanted to see what Casey Jones looked like because it's just absurd through and through. It's kind of like Dr. Claw. You never really want to see what he looks like. But on the back side of the golf bag for Casey Jones, he comes with the usual weapons that we have seen released with the previously released cartoon Casey Jones. And they are all painted nicely. They are all the same sledgehammers, baseball bats. You get the idea. But... These are all very much accessories that this version of Casey Jones needs to have. You get the golf bag, which again is painted nicely, has a little bit of that cartoon black detail on there, which gives it a little bit of an oomph. Mine is a little bit misshapen. I'll heat it up, fix it, but it holds all the weapons. Now, for Casey Jones, the suited corporate world Casey Jones, I could not ask for anything more. This is every bit as insane as the episode of which he is based off of. There's not a whole lot to it. You have the weapons, the golf bag, you have a beautifully sculpted head portrait, you got the dual shade, everything looks beautiful. And yes, that is a new head portrait, and you might have a giggle if you see the prior released Casey Jones head next to this one. I certainly got a kick out of it because I really like the prior released one, but you'll soon see that this is a definite upgrade. You're going to get the same usual articulation as all previous TMNT NECA Toys figures. There's nothing crazy, but I will say, go easy with the knees. I think that was really the only problem, and one of the feet. So, knees and feet, heat them up if you so choose. But I say that with every cartoon TMNT release, because I don't want you to snap anything, break anything, but so far so good with this guy. Now, one thing is that his arms are removable, right? So those pop right out. They're pretty easy to do. The jacket unbuttons, which I think is a really nice touch. It's just not a piece that goes over him. But the problem with mine and possibly yours is that the paint from the jacket, because he was packaged like this, has now stuck and bled onto the white shirt. I do wish that they had released the jacket as a separate piece and then packaged him just having the white shirt on because now we have some unsightly paint issues. It's a huge bummer attached to the arms and bingo bango. You got yourself a cool, unjacketed Casey Jones. If you want to swap the heads, those are kind of sort of hard to do. Maybe heat them up. His hair is very sharp, by the way. But utilizing the golf bag, the accessories, everything looks pretty cool. And with Zilu and his prior released April O'Neil and now this unmasked Casey Jones, yes, you're adding to the lore of the old cartoon show. With Raphael as well, you can have him just in the business suit. It's a lot of fun. These all display very nicely. To show you the difference, as promised, between the prior release Casey Jones and now this suited Casey Jones, yes, the new head portrait is definitely a whole heck of a lot better. I liked the prior one until I saw this one, just saying. But in case you were wondering, yes, the head portraits will actually swap very easy with the prior release Casey Jones. So you can do that. The skin tone may not exactly match up, but you have a mask in front, so you're not going to see too much of the human parts. However, if you want to swap the unmasked, that's when you will see the difference in the skin tone. Just FYI. So maybe not so much this one, but it does fit for those wondering. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Corporate Raiders from Dimension X box set from the cartoon TMNT line by NECA Toys. This is another great set to have. One thing, though, is that I noticed with the recent Holothon releases is that we're getting really deep cuts, which I'm not opposed to. But out of the new sets, the new figures, this one, along with the Evil Rex one, seems to be the only new, new figures, whereas everything is, oh, well, it's a punk turtle. It's more turtles and then variations on Usagi Ojimbo and such that weren't in the show. But I'd like to see them tackle now the remaining characters that we do need 
while also peppering in these new designs. I think that's very interesting, but I still want to see Tempestra and yeah, even Ray if you want to go that route. But you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything cartoon TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep bringing on those cartoon turtles. I absolutely love this line. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.